do another option, um, another video to, to help you understand masking. So with masking, you can use any of these tools here at the top. Um, quick selection tool is probably the most popular, which I'm going to use here. And um, the, there's a lasso tool. And there's also just the rectangular and circle tool. Um, anything that uses the dancing ants is fine. Um, a professor of mine, used, that's what he used to call it. So um, I'm going to select this guy in this photograph just to show you how masking works with the quick selection tool. So even if you're, obviously this is not perfect, even with masking you can um, go back and clean it up. So I have this guy selected, I'm on that photograph layer, and then I'm going to click this masking button. This is important to remember the square with the circle in the middle, it's in the layers panel. If you don't see the layers panel, go to window and then layers. So I'm going to click this guy and you can see that everything in the photograph is has disappeared except for the part where I selected him. So you'll also notice that there is a black and white layer right beside the photograph layer that's just showing where I've cut out. So those little dancing ants can be kind of like, you know, when you have like a sheet from grade school where there's dots to show you where to cut, where to cut out. It's kind of the same thing. You're just creating cuts where to cut the layer mask out. So everywhere that it's white is showing and everywhere that's black is covered, um, which is the reason why it's called a mask. It's like you're cutting a mask out. So you can see part of the image, but not all of it. So you can see like there's a little bit of, you know, cleaning up to do. One great thing about masks compared to just erasing around it um, is that you can go back and forth with um, cor your corrections. So you can see that my black and white layer is selected and um, I'm going to go to the paintbrush tool and then everything that is white will show through see here everything I paint white will show through and everything that's black will disappear so I want this part to disappear so I need my paintbrush to be black and then I can just clean it up by using my paintbrush so um, one Again, like one cool thing is like you make a mistake, like, oh no, that's too much of the leg. I just switch to white and I can have it reappear like so. And you can even do some really cool things like um, using masks to write your name. So here, I'm just going to sign my name with the masking layer. Pretty cool, right? Um, so that's one way to do masks and... Another quick way you can use masking is just using the circle tool or the square tool. Um, I'm just going to delete this mask here so the picture reappears. And say you had like a photograph with a portrait or something like that that you wanted to insert into a circle rather than it being a square in your layout. I'm just holding down my shift key and making the circle. Um, so that way, the shift key allows it to be a perfect circle. Now let go. And the same thing, I hit this mask button called Add Layer Mask. And everything disappears except for what's inside the circle. So you can do that um, in so many ways with the magnetic lasso tool as well. That can, you know, if you have like an edge that's really precise, like this one, there's a high contrast between the background and the foreground. You can do that as well. Um, there's many ways of creating those little dancing ants that I talked about.